Campbell Silver is making plans to restart the Fairview Mine located near the town of Oliver in southern British Columbia. Hi Ho's Fairview property is nicely located relative to Oliver, British Columbia, easily accessed by road and serviced by power. It is uh, part of an old 1890s mining district, was active up until the 1980s, and the current opportunity is to reactivate the district, exploit the 30,000 ounces of gold that have been developed by drilling in the last few years, and also it has the potential for expanding the property to depth, perhaps uh, doubling or tripling the uh, total overall resource. The Fairview Mining Camp is one of the oldest in British Columbia. The earliest load discoveries date to the late 1880s and occur along a vein system which strikes over two kilometers of high ho silver property. Between 1893 and 1941, Morningstar Mine produced 24,975 tons of ore, yielding 31,043 ounces of silver and 8,124 ounces of gold. Total recorded production between 1893 and 1956 from the Brown Bear and Stemwinder included 27,947 tons mined, from which 3,225 ounces gold and 17,130 ounces of silver were recovered. Most of the ore came from the Stemwinder mine, which operated until the early 1900s. With gold now around $1,700 Canadian and the availability of new exploration and mining technologies, Hi-Ho Silver's management believes the full potential of the Fairview Mining Camp has yet to be realized. Geophysical surveys over the area shows the controlling structures for the mineralization is continuous for two kilometers along the Morning Star Stemwinder Belt. Drilling at the Silver Crown and Brown Bear areas has defined three parallel zones of gold-bearing quartz veins, each separated by a true width of 10 to 20 meters striking northwest. Originally interpreted as a um, epithermal vein system with all the vagaries of epithermal veins, discontinuous, etc., it's now interpreted as a three-layer uh, layered sedimentary deposit, vertically dipping, extending to depth with no depth limitation as you might have in an epithermal deposit. Apex Geosciences completed a 43-101 resource estimate for the Silver Crown deposit. An inferred mineral resource was estimated to be 334,000 tons at a grade of 2.9 grams per ton gold, containing 32,000 ounces of gold and 192,000 ounces of silver. It's the objective of Hi Ho to sample this with bulk sampling in the next few months. Uh, this would be accessed through an open cut on surface plus an adit coming in horizontally into the, into the developed resource, into the center of gravity of the resource and haul the material out horizontally and ship it to a custom mill located about a two hour haul from the mining operation. The Silver Crown deposit remains open north, south and at depth. As a significant investor in High Ho Silver Resources, I'm just thrilled to see how the industry has changed for junior miners, particularly in the gold and silver arena. I'm excited about what's happening with this company in particular with its Fairview project and how it's moving really quickly towards production and so this is an exciting time to be part of this industry.